Good day. Today, we will talk about harmonic sequence. According to our definition, a harmonic sequence is a sequence of non-zero numbers whose reciprocals form an arithmetic sequence. Remark, it is important to note that to solve the n term of a harmonic sequence, we need to get the reciprocal of each term to form an arithmetic sequence. Then, find the corresponding n term of the arithmetic sequence using a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Finally, get the reciprocal of a sub n. For our illustration, since the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17 is an arithmetic sequence having a common difference of 3, then the sequence 1 half, 1 fifth, 1 eighth, 1 eleventh, 1 fourteenth, 1 seventeenth is a harmonic sequence. Since 1 half is the reciprocal of 2, 1 fifth is the reciprocal of 5, 1 eighth is the reciprocal of 8, 1 eleventh is the reciprocal of 11, 1 fourteenth is the reciprocal of 14, and 1 seventeenth is the reciprocal of 17. We proceed to activity 1. In number 1, we need to tell whether each sequence is harmonic or not. In letter A, we have 1 over 11, 1 over 14, 1 over 17, 1 over 20, and so on and so forth. First, we need to get the reciprocal of each term in this sequence. In this instance, the reciprocal of 1 over 11 is 11. The reciprocal of 1 over 14 is 14. The reciprocal of 1 over 17 is 17. The reciprocal of 1 over 20 is 20. Then, in this new formed sequence, we will determine whether it is arithmetic or not by checking the existence of the common difference. If the common difference exists, then we can say that this new form sequence is an arithmetic sequence. So here we just need to get two consecutive terms and subtract from right to left. Again, subtract from right to left. Let's consider 11 and 14 first, then we'll continue with 14 and 17, and also 17 and 20. So for 11 and 14, we need to subtract this from right to left. So 14 minus 11 is equal to when, um, rather 3, sorry. So, next one, we have 14 and 17. So, subtract it again from right to left. 17 minus 14 equals 3. And lastly, for 20 and 17, we have... 17, sorry, so 20 minus 17 equals 3. As we can see, we have a common difference which is 3. So therefore, we can conclude that the sequence 11, 14, 17, 20 is an arithmetic sequence. We just need to write arithmetic sequence here. So next. Also, the sequence formed by the reciprocal of each term of this arithmetic sequence, which is 1 over 11, 1 over 14, 1 over 17, 1 over 20, is a harmonic sequence. So, we'll just write it also here. 
beside our given sequence. Now, let us have letter B. We have 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, and so on and so forth. Again, we need to find the reciprocal of each term in this sequence. So, for 1, we have 1. For 1 half, we have 2. For 1 fourth, we have 4. And for 1 eighth, we have 8. And so on and so forth. Then, we will check if there exists a common difference in this new form sequence. If it has a common difference, then it is an arithmetic sequence. So let's have two consecutive terms and subtract from right to left. Let's consider the first two terms, which are 1 and 2. So we will subtract this from right to left. So we have 2 minus 1 equals 1. And then let's consider 2 and 4 also. So from right to left again, we need to subtract this. So 4 minus 2 equals 2. S observe that the differences are 1 and 2. Therefore, they are not equal. Hence, the sequence 1, 2, 4, 8 is not an arithmetic sequence. Also, the sequence formed by the reciprocals of the terms of this sequence is not a harmonic sequence. In letter C, we have 4 and 1 fourth, 4 and 1 half, 4 and 3 fourths, and 5. First, note that that given terms are mixed numbers. Then we need to convert these numbers to improper fractions. So for the first term, which is 4 and 1 fourth, we just need to get the product first of 4, which is the whole number, and the denominator. And then add the numerator. So 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 equals 17 over 4. We just need to copy the denominator. And then for the second term, we have 4 times 2 equals 8 plus 1 equals 9. So 9 over 2. So for the third term, we have 4. 4 equals 16 plus 3 equals 19. So 19 over 4 and lastly 5. After getting those numbers, we get the reciprocal of each term. So for 17 over 4, We have 4 over 17. For 9 over 2, we have 2 over 9. For 19 over 4, we have 4 over 19. And lastly, we have 1 over 5. Now, we will determine if this new form sequence forms an arithmetic sequence by checking whether the common difference exists. Let's get two consecutive terms, 17 over 4, or rather 4 over 17 and 2 over 9, and then subtract this from 
right to left. So, we have 2 over 9 minus 4 over 17 is equal to, so we need to get the LCD of this one, which is 19 times 7, which is equal to 153. So 153 divided by 9 is 17, and then multiply it to the numerator, which is 2. So 2 times 17 minus so 153 divided by 17 is 9. And then multiply it with the numerator, which is 4. Simplifying this, um, we have 2 times 17 as 34 minus 4 times 9 is 36 all over 53. Simplifying this, we have um, negative 2 over 153. So this is our first difference. Next. Um, let us have 2 over 9 and um, 4 over 19. So, we will subtract this from right to left. So, 4 over 19 um, minus 2 over 9 is equal to... So that's also get the LCD of this one. So 19 times 9 is 171. So 171 divided by 19 is 9. So we will just copy it with 4. So 4 times 9 minus 171 divided by 9 is 19. So and then multiply it by 2. So 2 times 19. Simplifying this. We have so 4 times 9 is 36 minus 2 times 39 is 38 over 171. Simplifying this, we have negative 2 over 171. As you can see, we don't have a common difference because our differences are not equal. Then, we can say that this sequence is not an arithmetic sequence. Also, this one and this one are not harm a harmonic sequence. Again, it is not a harmonic sequence. Now, letter D is left as an exercise for you. So, the given is 10 over 3, 5 over 4, 10 over 13, 5 over 9. You just need to determine whether it is harmonic or not. Okay? Now, let's proceed number 2. We need to find the 21st term of the harmonic sequence 1, 1 third, 1 fifth, and 1 over 7. Here, um, we just need to have the reciprocals of all the terms of this sequence. So, reciprocal of 1 is 1. The reciprocal of 3, of 1 third rather is 3. The reciprocal of 1 fifth is 5. And the reciprocal of 1 over 7 is 7. As we can see, it is noticeable that common difference between any two consecutive terms is 2. And we can see that 3 minus 1 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. So let's take note of that. So common difference equals. Also, in this newly formed 
sequence, our first term is 1. So we denote it as a sub 1 equals 1. So also take note that n is 21. To solve for the 21st term of the harmonic sequence, first we need to get the 21st term of the arithmetic sequence that we have. So solving for that we have um, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Um, substituting um, n so a sub 21 is equal to a sub 1 plus 21 minus 1 is the common difference. And then, so substituting everything, including a sub 1 and b, so we have 1 plus um, 20 times common difference, which is 2. Simplifying this, so we have a sub 21 equals 1 plus 20 times 2 is 40. So simplifying this, we have a sub 21 equals 41. So therefore, this is the 21st term of our arithmetic sequence 1, 3, 5, and 7. Let's take note of that. So, it, 41 is the 21st term for the arithmetic series 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on and so forth. And therefore, a sub 21 is equal to 1 over 41. So this is the 21st term of the harmonic sequence 1, 1 third, 1 over 5, and 1 over 7, and so on and so forth. So that's it for number 2. For number 3, this will be left as an exercise, so you need to compute for the 15th term of the harmonic sequence 2 over 7, 1 over 6, 2 over 17, 1 over 11, and so forth, and so on and so forth. So, thank you, and see you again.